so welcome to this interactive session where my aim today is to empower you so that you can start your journey through self study it is very important that you should understand some of the basic things and after understanding those basic things you should start your journey to prepare for ias and then to become an ias or an ips officer as you want through lot of confidence and today's session is going to be very very helpful if you think and if you believe that you want to do it through self study before we start the session i would like to know that the students who are today live with me what exactly is their plan in which particular year you want to give the exam is it 2024 25 or 26 i should know this so that i can give you a proper plan for this very nice wonderful excellent 2024 25 24 25 24 25 26 okay very nice now before we move further can i know that the students with whom i am interacting today in this live session you are from which particular state of india kerala meghalaya madhya pradesh up west bengal tamil nadu andhra rajasthan telangana odisha madhya pradesh delhi punjab up excellent so basically jharkhand odisha karnataka this is a session with students from all over india that's a very very amazing kind of experience starting from jammu and kashmir going down to tamil nadu we have students from every corner of india right so this gives me a lot of lot of encouragement to interact with these students the students like uh, suchi tiwari who is asking me to speak in hindi see because we teach in english i will not be speaking hindi otherwise it will be as good as cheating the students telling them that today i am speaking in hindi but i cannot help them any what way possible in future in english uh, in hindi for that matter so i seek your apology and now let me start the session so dear students now that you are aiming for the ias exam upsc civil service exam upsc csc civil service exam and you want to do it through self study and let me be very honest let me be very honest yes it is 200% possible to prepare for this competitive exam through self study let me be very very honest humbly honest with my students coaching is no guarantee for success had coaching been guarantee for success everyone who would have been going to the coachings they would have ended up being ias i hope you agree with what i said so guys for this self study plan i am going to write few questions on the board the questions that would be coming to your mind the question that would be baffling your mind the questions that would be bothering you then one by one i will give answer to all those questions and i am 200% sure that by the time i am done with all these questions and have given their answers you would have got all your doubts like they, they will evaporate they will go away so the first question is when to start the preparation this is first question i think that comes to everybody's mind when to start from where to start third what are the best sources how to read newspaper and magazines here while saying how to read newspaper and magazines which newspaper and magazines are important is an integral part of this question number 5 how to integrate static and current affairs in notes number 6 when to start solving questions number 7 how to choose optional subject so these are some of the questions that basically baffle the mind of the student who is going to start 
and when it is through self study these seven questions are the most important questions from which one should start i am going to enable the chat to first understand are you happy satisfied that these seven questions are going to be answered without you asking for any of these then these this is not the end after answering these seven questions we have some more questions in mind that students usually ask me and then i will be answering them too so i am opening the chat please let me know if this is like something that you had been waiting for that somebody should come and tell us is uh, like if these are the questions you want an answer to tell me in the chat box great so now i am going to give answer to all these questions one by one and uh, once these answers are given you will have the next set of questions and you will understand them it is not about syllabus decode it is integration of syllabus that i will be talking about so when to start the preparation this is your first question that you want me to answer today see let me tell you self study or coaching now why i am writing coaching here it is not mandatory it is not required you need not bother about it it is not to sell any of my course it is to make you understand something so that you better relate with it the facts are important to be understood and the facts cannot be understood unless it is presented in a comparative manner like where somebody will have an edge i am doing it through self study somebody else is doing it through uh, coaching so what is the difference now i will ask one very basic question you have to answer that question in the chat box then i will explain you when to start right so the question is very simple i will open the chat box then you will give answer to it rather i will ask you three questions one by one you will answer for those three questions my first question is be it a boy or a girl right whosoever we are like the students we are attending be a boy or a girl is there anyone in this session today who will not agree to this fact or who will say no no i don't want it tell me is it true or not true be it a boy or a girl we all want to have a very healthy and a very fit body like not that we all want to be bodybuilders with great muscles or something but yes we want reasonably a good body we don't want extra fat we don't want anything like that we want a very well shaped very well structured body is it right or wrong please tell me all right now when we all agree that we all want right type of the body structure when we all agree to this for this right type of body structure we need to do some sort of exercise it's not important that we are going to gym i can go for jogging i can do yoga i can do any exercise but exercise is must do you agree to this exercise is must you agree to it wonderful now is it always important that you should have a coach for your exercise no it is not required that you should have a coach you can watch somebody telling you on youtube you can you can you know yourself learn it to by looking at people you can do it yourself obviously when you do it yourself you do not have all the machinery you do not have all the paraphernalia but yes you can still do it do you agree to this that we do not need a coach or a professional trainer we can do it ourselves but when we do it ourselves without a professional coach without all the paraphernalia in that case what will happen now what will happen is see if somebody is going to gym and that somebody has a personal trainer pt right that pt will tell them that this is your diet plan this is your exercise plan you will do your chest once a week you will do your legs once a week you will do your bicep once a week you will do your abdomen once a week you will take break you will have protein shake you will have this everything a coach is telling like the coaching center is telling the students that see these are the notes you need to study here are the tests that you need to take for your evaluation everything is ready made because everything is ready made it is served to the students see when a coach is there a personal trainer is there the time required to make your body fit is obviously less but when you do it yourself right it is self help approach now when it is self help approach it is very simple it will take extra time because it will take extra time if you go to a very good gym a very good trainer even he will tell you that i need at least one year to give the desirable result similarly coachings will tell you that they have one year program but remember in this one year program 
they attend the classes every day they get the notes be it static part or current affairs they get regular tests which are evaluated so for you it is at least 2 years because you have to read all the books yourself you have to make your notes you have to update the current affairs yourself you have to arrange for your test you have to see somebody who will evaluate and give you the feedback so it will take double the time and double the effort but what to worry for this is our dream and we want to do it through self study so why to hesitate why to not have that confidence it's all right if i am not going to a very professional gym any time fitness i am not having a professional trainer personal trainer so what i will look at somebody who is doing good exercise in the open gym in the gardens or in the lawns or in the like parks developed by municipalities i see people doing exercise there looking at them asking them for little help i can do it myself am i right or wrong my dear friends so now the time for you is at least 2 years before you want to appear for this right now friends this give me another chance to tell you something about self study and coaching now look look at this what i try to say and what she interpreted now at times when we read books our interpretation of the books at times is not up to the mark so that is why who those who are going for coaching they get better understanding of the things if they have doubts they can ask the teacher teacher can explain but in your case you have to find somebody who can explain you the things at times when you read lakshmi kant you read, read spectrum you read ramesh singh you read that uh, environment book by shankar ias culture book by nitin singhania at times you find few of the facts difficult you are not able to understand but don't worry don't feel bad about it when you do not have coaching that's okay please do find somebody who can help you and it can be your friend it can be your sibling it can be some unknown person who is ready to help but you have to find out somebody as if it is for exercise you will go out and see people who are doing exercise and start learning from them try make them you try make them your friends learn few tips from them if you are not going for a personal trainer you want you uh, there are two conditions one i cannot afford two i do not want right so in the first case it is problem in the second case it is your self self made decision now that you have decided that i don't want a personal trainer i don't want coaching then own up the responsibility be courageous be responsible and yes you can do it it's not a problem right so the answer to this question is that yes in the two year span you can very well prepare for it if you are doing it through self study that means if i am in my first year of graduation and i start my journey now immediately in my first year right that means i have 3 years time now in 2 years i will complete the syllabus in the third year what i will do in the third year i will revise and take lot of tests and on the basis of the weaknesses i will work more and then after my third year i will appear for the exam and i will clear the exam so the best time to start is your first year if somehow you couldn't start in the first year please make sure that when you are in second year of graduation that means your third sem you must start now this is the best time to start if you start in your first three semesters and sooner you start better it will be why i am saying this and you will all agree to this as well completion of syllabus is no guarantee of success hundreds of notes even thousands not millions of people will complete the syllabus but everybody will not be successful reason when the syllabus is completed the genuine preparation start now you are among those serious candidates who have completed the entire syllabus now it depends how much time you save to revise the things multiple times if you have that adequate time your success is for sure if you continued with the syllabus for very long and before the pre you have not revised the thing at least four five times then it is very difficult to remember the facts and clear this exam i hope you will agree to this explanation and you are satisfied with the answer if anybody is having any doubt you have every right to ask for it so friends if it is self study start in the first second or the third semester anything after this will take away your success at an early stage and that will be very painful right this was the first question that i wrote here 
when to start the preparation and i hope i have given you the answer that it should be in the first three semesters now i will once again open the chat box please tell me for this first question when to start the preparation are you satisfied with the explanation that i have given that it should be in the first three semesters preferably in the very first semester is it okay then i will give answer to every question you have in your mind so the answer to the first question is when to start the preparation it is in the first three semesters and the earlier it is better it will be so start from the very first sem of your graduation now from where to start this is the next question that we have in mind from where to start the best answer to this question is from ncrt's if somebody will ask me are ncrt's sufficient my answer is straight away no but if somebody ask me are the ncrt's required my answer will be yes now why we need ncrt's and why they are not sufficient see while we were in school in class 6 7th 8th 9th 10th 11th and 12th first we will discuss about 6th 7th 8th 9th and 10th by default we all studied science and it was pcm uh, pcb physics chemistry and biology we all had history we all had geography and we all had uh, that civics that is polity we all did it but how unfortunate the system is how unfortunate the fact is that in schools many a times we find that either the teachers themselves or the students out of some choice or out of some misunderstanding they never read ncrt's properly and they prefer reading the guides right am i right or wrong please tell me so now that you understand that we had ncrt's in our school but we did not one read them properly two the minds were so young we were so young that we were not able to properly even understand the concepts the idea was at that time to mug up the things to mug up the things and to then write in the exam what i studied in class 6 remained in class 6 what i studied in 7th remained in 7th i did not even you know remember the things while i was in 9th what i studied in 6th 7th or 8th the school system is more like going to vegas where we say what happens in vegas remains in vegas it is like what happened in 7th remained in 7th we do not even remember what i read in those classes now that i have not revised them forget about revision i have not even understood them how can i know the important facts how can i understand the important concepts the very basics the minds were young now the minds have grown up you are mature enough if you start with ncrt you will start understanding those basic concepts in a more robust manner when you will read geography you will understand what is the concept of international date line what is the concept of dividing the earth into different spheres why the environment is divided into different spheres what are the roles of different ideas in geography what what are the ideas in civics how many of you even understand that what is the mechanism of election in india what is first past the post system what what is the mechanism to elect the members of lok sabha how the members of rajya sabha are elected how the election commission works what is the role of delimitation commission how many of you even remember why simon commission was appointed why indians boycotted simon commission how many of you understand this concept that yes in our polity books we had in our civics book we have the concepts of liberalism socialism equality justice we remember nothing like that from up to our 10th class now unless we go back read those books as mature minds we will not be able to understand the advanced level books do you agree to this explanation friends all right now that you have understood that you have to start with ncrt's then up to 10th when you read these ncrt's you become familiar with the basic facts now when we came to 11th or 12th we decided whether we would go for medical or non medical or commerce or arts if i opted for medical non medical or commerce i did not read all these subjects like history geography economics or civics or political science because i have not even read those subjects how can i understand the concepts given in the 11th class polity book i have read nothing about js mill and his harm principle and i want to understand the mechanisms as adopted in indian constitution now let me give you a small example here right let me give you a very small example of harm principle and then what indian constitution is doing 
so there is a political thinker by the name of js mill and it is given in your 11th class ncrt right of political science now look at this js mill talks about the idea of harm principle now what is this harm principle he says we all human beings be it men or women we all humans are equal right because we are we are equal we all should have equal liberty that means freedom equal freedom for all how can you restrict anybody from doing saying something it is wrong you should give them all equal liberty fine but if somebody's freedom somebody's liberty is harmful to others if my freedom is restricting somebody else freedom then the state the authority the government has the right to restrict the freedom of that individual when i talk about the idea of humans being equal having same freedom same liberties i am talking about fundamental rights we all have same fundamental rights but so that we must not do harm to anyone every fundamental right has reasonable restrictions attached to it for example if in 191 a article i have freedom of speech and expression freedom of speech and expression under article 192 there are reasonable restrictions on freedom of speech and expression how can i have the freedom to abuse somebody how can i have the freedom to defame somebody how can i have the freedom to speak wrong about the character of somebody so that means i have no absolute freedom there is no idea of absolute freedom where my freedom becomes harmful to somebody else interest state can immediately put some reasonable restrictions now if you have not read ncrt you have not read this idea of harm principle forget about appreciating ncrt uh, uh, lakshmikant book or understanding indian polity even your governess idea paper 2 is not very strong even your ethics paper is not very strong do you understand and agree to what i just said all right friends so now that you have understood the concept that ncrts are important so answer to the second question is start from where to start start from ncrts and which ncrts 6 to 12th class ncrts now another question will come to mind if i have to read ncrts number 1 the question is which ncrts which ncrts like is it the old ncrts or the new ncrts which ncrt should i read this is one question that comes to mind the second question how to read and make notes out of ncrts now this is very important you have to understand this so that's why i said even if i have written seven questions these seven questions will be like 700 questions and 7000 answers for you you have to have that patience you have to stay back and those who will stay back till the end with us will obviously get a very beautiful reward from us and the reward system starts now dikshan sir will share the link of youtube and telegram channel when you join our youtube and the telegram ten, uh, telegram channel you will every day get a lot of free content for your self study let me explain you on the telegram every day morning i will send you the summary of hindu and express and monthly self, uh, summary of yojana magazine right absolutely free join the telegram group on the youtube channel every day you will get videos on what videos on current affairs as well as static affairs for example today is the birth anniversary of gurudev rabindranath tagore and maharana pratap even the prime minister has tweeted about both now that both have been tweeted by the prime minister they both are outstanding personalities we have already put a video explaining their contributions so that means your current affairs as well as static part about rabindranath tagore and maharana pratap is taken care of so join the youtube channel and the telegram channel and you will every day get a lot of content absolutely free of cost and it will remain free throughout it is free for last 7 year 8 years and it will remain free for another 70 80 years even if i die my channel will remain there for you right so join these two things and you will not be bothered that you need somebody to guide you raj team is with you to support you to take you to that place where you feel confident so how to make notes of ncrts now look at this if i pick up 6 to 12th ncrt of history 
and I first read the book of class six and then I picked the seventh, then I read eighth, ninth, tenth, and then eleventh and twelfth. It is no use. No use, believe me, friends. I will give you a mantra here how to read and make notes. Once I have done explanation of that, then I will once again open the chat box. You will tell me, did you like this idea or not? Now let's take an example. You are reading sixth class new NCRT, right? And the name of this book is Our Past Part 1, which deals with ancient India, right? Now, in this book, there is one chapter on Indus Valley Civilization. Indus Valley Civilization. Then I will pick up 12th class book. And the name of the book is Themes in Indian History Part 1. Themes 1, which again deals with ancient India. And there is another chapter on Indus Valley. Then I have to pick up a book of fine arts. It is NCRT for class 11th. In this fine arts book of 11th class, there is one chapter on art and architecture of Indus Valley civilization. Now, what I have done, I have read one chapter from class 6 on Indus Valley civilization, one chapter from class 12 on Indus Valley civilization, and one chapter of 11th class fine arts book on Indus Valley civilization. Now, I make a comprehensive note on Indus Valley civilization from all the sources without revising any fact. Every fact is new, but it is from three different chapters of three different books of three different classes. But I have made one note of the topic. Now, when I revise, I revise three books together and this can be replicated for everything. If I'm reading Ashoka, there is one chapter in class six, there is one chapter in class 12, and there is one topic of art and architecture during modern times in 11th class fine arts book. Similarly, it can be democracy in class 7, democracy in class 10, and democracy in class 11. Read three chapters together and make the notes. Do you like this idea, my dear friends? I have opened the chat box for you. Now that I have given you an idea, see, the question was, number one, when to start? I told you, first, second, or third semester, best it will be if you start in first semester. From where to start? I told you NCRT 6 to 12th, how to make notes from old or new NCRTs, that is the question left. I will answer that. How to make notes, I told you, make topics very important. Now I said, I will give you some gifts. Have you guys joined the Telegram group? Dikshan sir, please share the Telegram group link once again. I want to give my students, sincere students, a gift for self-study. We are sharing the link again. Please join the Telegram group. I'm going to share a wonderful gift for all of you, those who want to do it through self-study. So here is your link. Please join it quickly so that I can share that wonderful gift for you. Now that many of you have joined it, I am going to share that wonderful gift for you. And you all will be happy once you have a look at that gift. I would not want you to go through the entire document straight away right now. You can keep it will remain with you. I'm sharing it. You can download it. Now that you have joined the group and I've shared the link here. It is being uploaded and yes, it has been uploaded. Please check if you have received that. This is a document which has decoded the entire syllabus for you. For example, if you are to do your ancient history, the topic is Stone Age. What all topic subtopics? The subtopics are Paleolithic, Mesolithic, Neolithic, Chalcolithic, Occupation Tools, Pottery, Settlement, Lifestyle, Prehistoric Art, Cave Paintings. It is more important for pre- what are the sources? Read the basic books like Themes in Indian History Part 1 and NCRT Class 6 Chapter 3. For advanced reading, you can read this chapter either from the book written by Upinder Singh or the book written by A.L. Bhasham, Wonder That Was India. Similarly, if it is Indus Valley uh, Civilization or the Bronze Age, the subtopics are what is the origin of Indus Valley, how it originated, geographical extent, cities and towns, architecture, society, economy, polity during Indus Valley Civilization, decline and its causes. The basic books will be NCRT 6 class chapter 4 and 12th class themes part 1. Old NCRT, read this chapter from R.S. Sharma sir's 11th class book. For advanced reading, read the chapter in A.L. Bhasham. So this way, it will give you all the information which chapter, which book you need to read. Is it okay? Now, I have given you answer to when to start, from where to start. Now, what are the best sources? I have already given answer to this in that document that I've already shared. It has both the basic NCRT books as well as the advanced books. 
So I have given you answer to three questions. Once I claim this, that I have given you answer to the first three questions, please confirm it in the chat box. Now coming to the next question, Dikshan sir, once again, share the YouTube and the Telegram channel because what I'm going to give them now is going to be super amazing for them. How to read newspapers and magazines and which newspaper and magazine, right? Now, when you ask me this question, I will ask you a very basic question. Somebody will tell you read Hindu. Somebody will tell you read Indian Express. Somebody will tell you that the magazine called Yojana or Kurukshetra, they are very important. Somebody will tell you that Down to Earth magazine is also very important. Somebody will tell you PIB is a very important source. Somebody will tell you 365 is a very important source. This, that, I don't know. Now, I will ask you a very simple question. If there is something happening today in Manipur, if it is important from the perspective of internal security or it is important from the aspect of society, right? If there is something happening between Russia and Ukraine, now tell me one thing. If it is very important and there can be a question in UPSC like exam, will Hindu cover and Express not cover or will PIB not cover? And if you have read Hindu and Express or PIB, what new you get but for the editorials? That means that I have to read any one newspaper and from the other newspaper, at best, I can read the editorials. When I am reading editorials from newspapers, then what are these magazines about? Editorials. Now, if you have to read Hindu, Express, PIB every day and all the magazines every month, it will take at least three to four hours to complete reading and making notes. Do you have that much of the time to do all this yourself? Now that you have joined the Telegram group and the YouTube channel, I am coming with the second gift for the day for your students who want to do it through self-study. Please quickly join so that nobody misses on that thing, what I am going to share in next two minutes with you. Today is 9th of May, right? Now I am going to the Telegram channel and sharing one document. Open it up once again. Let me show you what I have for you. And this is not the only thing I am going to share. Now, this is the newspaper of 9th of May today. For prelim exam, what things are important in today's Hindu and Express and other newspapers? One is Arab League, one is Start Program, one is Thalassemia, National Center for Good Governors, Cartilage, then the Temple, MiG Aircraft, Project Cheetah, Border Road Organization, Territorial Army, then Editorial Simplified from different newspapers, India's Farm Exports and Changes is prevention of money laundering at PMLA. Then we have made the note on it in a very systematic manner, right? On all these topics. After making the notes on all these topics, if you scroll down on page number eight, seven, eight, we have, start, we have started with multiple choice questions for your testing yourself that what you read, could you understand it properly? There are good 10 questions. And along with the questions, we have given you the explanations as well. Then the editorials have been simplified properly. It is made notes of, and there is one question, mains question for your practice, so that when you read the editorial, you can do some practice as well. Now, this is gift one for you because you joined today's session. Now, when you read the newspaper every day, you seldom get the time to revise it. Then what I will do for you, every week I will send you a weekly summary of the notes. What all happened in one week, and how is it important for paper one, two, three, four with proper headings? I will give you one. The first document that I just shared, it is for your pre. And the second document of the weekly compilation is for the mains. I have shared these two documents now. Weekly, week one May for pre and week one for editorials. Now that you get the editorials for the full week, now you read the news every day. Revise it every week. Then I will send you the notes for monthly revision so that you can revise the things every month. At the end of the month, you can once again revise the things for both pre and mains. Now, what you read every day, there is no need to make notes. Take a printout, keep it with you, right? Then revise it from the weekly notes and then revise it from the monthly notes. And your problem of making notes and revising things 
is over you have ready made notes with you now tell me how do you find this how many of your problems have been so solved without being asking for anything and you will continue to get this help throughout all right now here i will take a small break for 2 minutes dikshan sir will continue telling you about the things like what are in the newspaper that are important particularly the issue of manipur where there are differences uh, like there are riots going on hello everybody and a very warm welcome to this session i hope i am audible can everybody please confirm once if you can hear me properly a quick confirmation let me give you the access okay okay yeah now you have the access can you please quickly confirm okay perfect so as raj sir was talking to you about newspapers tell me how many of you have already started reading newspapers quickly and when you are saying yes sir i have already started tell me the name of the newspaper that you have already started reading quickly we will not spend much time on this so most importantly whenever we talk to a lot of students we meet a lot of aspirants we come across two most important newspapers one is the hindu the other one is the indian express as raj sir just explained eventually you will find out eventually you will find out that most of these newspapers if i am using this if i am talking about this if i am talking about any other xyz newspaper if i am talking about any other current affairs compilation eventually you will find that all of these things talk about the most important issues for example if i talk about manipur right if you talk to if you talk about manipur itself it will be comprehensively covered everywhere so it does not really make any sense when you look at different newspapers and you start reading all of them so it is not a good strategy to go first thing in the morning read the hindu second then you go to indian express then you read a compilation it is nothing but duplication of work that is something that you have to avoid when you are preparing for upsc and why that is so because we have limited time so for example if i ask you if you have been regular with the newspapers what exactly is going wrong in manipur quickly can anybody tell me i am assuming that you have been reading newspapers but tell me what exactly is happening in manipur why is manipur in news why is manipur in news so surbhi is saying sir there is a dispute between two tribal communities riots between tribes so this is where we believe that reading newspapers is fine but then understanding what the exact issue is what is exactly which makes a difference for example you are telling me that two tribes are fighting that is not the exact case what is happening in manipur in fact what is happening in manipur is that tribal people are all together and they are fighting against a particular tribe or a particular set of people who are metis but the reason why they are fighting is that tribal people have been given tribal status by the government whereas metis yet have not been counted or have not been given tribal status but now the reason why they are fighting is that metis are demanding tribal status whereas tribal people feel that they have all the socio economic factors in their favor then why are they demanding for tribal status they should not be given tribal status that is the reason why tribal people are now trying to corner trying to target all the traditional value systems of metis right so this is something that you have to understand and as raj sir said just reading newspapers without understanding the core problems of manipur will end up giving you shallow knowledge which will not be you know sufficient for this examination this is where we are saying that when you read ncrts it will give you that edge but then the important part is how you have to complete ncrts and i think raj sir very beautifully told you about what are the important topics right what are the different things that you have to read so all of those things already raj sir has spoken about so i will be giving the mic back to raj sir and he will take your doubts now coming back to the set of questions i have explained 1 2 3 and 4 and have given you the solution for all the first four things am i right is it worth now attending the session have you got something that you wanted 
Now, how to integrate static and current affair nodes, right? Now, let me come to this question. This is question number five. You remember I was telling you about uh, reading newspaper and making notes and then making notes from NCRTs. Now, let's take an example. This is your notebook, right? If this is your notebook, let's say <clears throat> this is your notebook. There are two pages on it. Fine. So this is two pages. Now I will read NCRTs and make notes on one side. On this side, leaving this page blank. So what I was doing, I was reading Indus Valley Civilization from class 6, class 12 and 11th class fine arts book. This is uh, 6th class ancient India. This is 12th class ancient India. This is fine art books of 11th. So I wrote Indus Valley Civilization. I wrote origin and made the notes of origin. Then I wrote important sites and I wrote the important sites. Then I wrote religion of Indus Valley. I wrote the points. Likewise, I kept on writing. Now I am reading newspaper and one fine day I find that one of the Harappan sites which recently got the status of UNESCO heritage site is Dholavira. So I have written one of the important sites as Dholavira. But in NCRTs, it is not mentioned that this is a UNESCO heritage site because it has recently been given this status. So now I will add here, it's a new UNESCO heritage site in India. Now, when I write UNESCO here, I should also revise what is UNESCO, what are its roles, what are its responsibilities, where is its headquarter. So the basic GK, I should revise the same day. This way, I make static notes, I add current affairs, and I recall my GK regularly. Is it a better way of making notes? Tell me, students, is it the right way, better way? So, one, two, three, four, five questions solved for you. Now comes the question, when to start solving questions? First question is MCQs, multiple choice question, and then the main subjective questions and their answers. So let me ask you a very simple thing. I have not read anything. I have not finished anything. How can I start solving the questions? Read topic by topic. Start solving questions. Now, from where should you start? From PYQs. Where you will get the PYQs? They are available on internet. From where you will get the new test? Now, that's the question. You can take tests from any institution. Every institution is making test series. Now, if you don't want to invest, go and search on Telegram. You will get everything for free. Right? So little bit of effort you have to make. Had you been a student of a given institution, they would have given you test. For example, if you join my coaching, just an example. So if today you come, you have your first class of, let's say, modern India, and we are doing coming of Europeans. So I will teach you coming of Europeans. We will make notes in the class. I will explain in the class. And next day when you come for the class, I will give you 10, 15 questions to solve. Then I will give you a question of mains to write an answer to, and I will evaluate it. But now that you want to do it through self-study, so arrange the questions. You have to do some little extra effort. You have to find it out and then you have to solve them. Then you have to write your answers. Now, who will evaluate that? You have to find out. Either join somebody's test series. We do not run test series for outside students because we have in-house so many students. We don't get time even to check their answers regularly. We have to hire more people to check the answers. So if I say I will only sell my test series, what quality it will be? I will be compromising with the quality of the content that I have to give to my in-house students. They have trusted me. They joined my coaching because they will get absolutely, you know, exclusive services. Teachers will be there to guide them. But now that uh, we, we cannot give it. So that's the problem. But yes, you need to have. You need to have, right? Somebody's test series. How to choose your optional subject. Now, when it comes to choosing the optional subject, let me be very frank, my dear friends. Let me, let me be very frank and truthful. Most of the institutions, I'm not saying all the institutions, most of the institutions intentionally create some myth. They will tell you that engineering subjects are not very good to be chosen or taken as optional subjects, whereas people with civil engineering or mechanical engineering have already qualified and the success rate is phenomenal. But because they do not have teachers for these subjects, they will tell you these are not the good subjects. You know, accountancy and uh, commerce and accountancy or management for the commerce students are very good subject. Even law as an option is an excellent subject. But why people discourage you? Because they do not have teachers for these subjects. Even I do not have teachers for all these subjects. 
बट आई विल टेल यू वन थिंग इफ यू हैव एन इंटरेस्ट इन एनी गिवन सब्जेक्ट एनी गिवन सब्जेक्ट देर इज नो लुकिंग बैक नाउ दीक्षांत सर इज शेयरिंग अ डॉक्यूमेंट इन द टेलीग्राम चैनल वेयर ही विल टेल यू द मोस्ट ऑथेंटिक फैक्ट्स एंड फिगर्स गिवन बाई यू पी एस सी इट सेल्फ दैट विच सब्जेक्ट इज मोर सक्सेसफुल एंड यू विल बी सरप्राइज टू सी that all subjects are equally important equally successful there is a absolute myth created by the commercial market that some subjects are better and others are not dikshant sir will be sharing a document when you have a look at it you will be happy that any subject that you want you can choose it because all subjects are treated more or less equally by upsc now question number 8 that comes to the minds of the student that disturbs them is how many arts one should study and question number 98 how while being a college student or a working professional we can prepare for this exam these are the two next question after this i will open up for discussion with you right so answer to eighth question no fixed number of hours let's take one example I want to finish the entire syllabus in one year, and I want to revise it as well. Even if I give fifteen hours, it is not sufficient. But if I give two years for my preparation, I can study for seven and a half hours every day for two years. And if I somehow plan for three years, it can be five hours every day. It's all same. Do you agree? Do you understand? Do you find this explanation helpful? Now that I have given you this explanation. now if you are a college going student or a working professional and you know that you cannot afford to give more than 5 hours out of the 24 hours that we have in our life now please tell me can't you plan it for 3 to 1 and a half years and i hope the one who asked me for working professional plan i hope i have given answer to you as well and to everyone who is waiting for this answer smart plan is be specific be measurable take the achievable task be realistic and complete them within time make sir. goals if you are working professional and you know that you cannot give more than 5 hours set your goals and then if you are a working professional or a college going student on one given day you are not able to give more than 4 hours so what on sundays you can give 6 to 7 hours you can compensate for it now you have to decide what is your priority start prioritizing the things is it a priority to watch amazon or to go on instagram or to study for one or two extra hours to become an is officer that you want now this is how you can prepare right so you have to set goals i have 3 years i will give every day 5 hours and whenever i get a chance i will give some extra time if i am working professional there are holidays if i am going to college there are holidays there are summer vacations there are winter vacations what i am doing ask yourself what i am doing all all this time all this while what i am doing if i am sitting and insta uh, and i am on instagram and just watching reels and laughing and laughing and laughing i am not laughing at instagram i am laughing at my future i am making fun of my future i am wasting my time i am doing nothing if i am watching netflix for 3 hours or 4 hours or 5 hours a day if it is a habit of binge watching then what i am doing what i am gaining out of it nothing my dear friends prioritize the things set the goals make the plans and achieve them this is very important for you to set the goals very very important then create the routines if you have set the goals if you get up early in the morning or you study late in the evening make a plan create a routine for you yes i will give this 3 4 hours in the evening 1 2 hours in the morning or in the noon that plan is very important so two things very important are setting goals and then creating a routine for the goals then exercise here exercise mean make it a habit the routine should be habitual as if someone who once fall in love with gymming they cannot take a break someone who falls in love with swimming they cannot take a break if you fall in love with your studies how can you take a break how can it bother you how can it exhaust you do you think that those people who go to gym and have very good muscles very good physique are they like tired of going to gym no they look forward to gym they are more enthusiastic going to gym rather than sitting home and killing their time so this is what i want you to understand then question yourself ask yourself what will i lose if i don't do this you will lose everything because you are killing your aim what will i gain if i do it i will live my dream i will be a successful person in life how much money will i lose if i don't get this done it's it's money here is not just that money thing it's the overall prosperity of life 
how much money will i make if i do it and here money means something that is very very smart very very smart means not just the monetary thing it is the growth the prosperity what will my life be like in one year two years five years and 10 years if i don't make a change remain as you are we all dream of going to gym but we never hit the gym we remain like that we never go to gym we never go for exercise we remain the same we never start preparation we always think we always talk about preparing starting the preparation we never start it and yes we remain where we are leave distraction behind please leave instagram snapchat stop sending streaks if you are gaining nothing nobody is going to pay you after after one time uh, uh, even while you are doing it nobody is paying you for it stop doing it yaar be courageous be smart enough to know that what you have to do please leave that is this thing and recognize what you can do goals motivation and collaboration make small groups like minded people who will encourage you they are your friends the people will tell have you seen your face people like you can never be is leave them because people like you and me do become is fine just do it start it start it now don't wait start the day you will start it you will accomplish it if you keep waiting it will never start right with these words now i will take one last thing that i want to share with you and then i will open up for chat now i will take a small chance to tell you something about my ncrt course what is my ncrt course we call it ncrt plus course this is a very smart course of 60 to 70 days right in these 60 to 70 days we cover 6 to 12th class ncrt books for topics like history polity economy geography environment international relations disaster management ethics society so these are 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 i am missing on one topic history polity economy geography environment international relations disaster management ethics society sir which topic i am missing let me recall one more topic history polity economy geography environment international relation disaster management ethics society science and technology these are the 10 topics that we cover from 6 to 12th ncrt books now you will ask which ncrt books these are old ncrts plus new ncrts because we know which chapter is given better for example if i have to read topic of buddhism i know that the causes of its origin and causes for its decline are given better in old ncrt whereas various ideas of buddhism are better given in new ncrts but why we call it ncrt plus we know that different schools of buddhism are better covered in nios we know that some of the ideas that how buddhism had an impact in south india is better given in tamil nadu books right so we will pick up all these sources make combined pdf note for you and share you this note along with the class so 60 to 7 days of our ncrt plus course which is a live class every day from monday to friday 5 to 8 pm it is a live class but in case you are a working professional you you are someone who is busy this time you get recorded access right every saturday is a doubt class if there are doubts there is a doubt class every saturday every sunday there is a test both pre and mains test right so in 60 to 70 days we finish the class live class in which we cover all 6 to 12th class old ncrts new ncrts this is national institute of open school and tamil nadu board books not all the books together i mean not all the books and all the chapters but whichever chapter whichever part whichever topic is better covered in whichever book we bring it together for you now when it is the live class the live class starts with the explanation of a topic like i am going to teach you let's say the idea of uh, gandhi right when i start i will give you an explanation after explanation there will be dictation you will make your notes in the class right after dictation there will be then discussion like what we have explained what we have dictated now are there any doubts in this discussion 
we will ask you about your doubts we will make you understand the things and then there will be elaboration now what i mean by elaboration the facts which were given in ncrts have been covered while we explain and dictate in discussion the doubts are taken then nios plus your tamil nadu board books and your current affairs whatever relates with this particular topic they are then discussed in the last part of the class so the topic is explained dictated discussed and elaborated you have pdf notes you have tests you have your classes which are both live or recorded as you want even if you have seen a live class you can watch it recorded again fine now after 60 70 days when the class is over the topics are finished now you get another 50 days access to revise them through recorded lectures so in all we give you 120 days which means it is like 4 months within 4 months you complete you have all the explanation dictation discussion elaboration you have tests you have pdf notes and to add on to it you will revise it once again and every day you get your current affair which is free otherwise now this course originally was priced at 7500 then we started giving it for 5900 but because now we are celebrating the 8th year completion of 8th year of this raj ies we are giving the same course for 1900 rupees including the gst it is part of it that 18% gst in 1900 you get live classes you get recorded classes you get pdf notes you get what more you get the tests and their evaluation now this course will help you kick start your preparation in an amazing way but remember one thing it is originally for 7500 then we started giving it for 5900 but it is 1900 only till the time the session is live the moment the session is over the price will go back to 5900 so those who want to join this course the course is starting tomorrow right it is starting with polity and the class timing is 5 to 8 and we have limited seats this one course is so popular across india that we when taught this course online in last 3 years we have catered to almost 20000 plus students and this course has made us so popular across india that we have students coming from tamil nadu to chandigarh at our center from karnataka kerala andhra they are coming all the way to chandigarh to join this course and our full courses because they have realized that all the teachers are so hard working all the teachers are so helpful all the staff is so helpful and all the promises are fulfilled well within the time that there is no problem at all with this course this course gives you so much of the confidence now let's take a small example you paid me 1900 rupees i taught you all the ncrts your first step is clear now if you want you can do all the self study so this course will prepare you for that self study that you want to do this one such course can help you grow in confidence you will understand all the basics you will understand that how these events were happening in history how these mechanisms are happening in geography what is the system in indian pol politics what is the idea of this basic physics chemistry or biology you will understand everything now that will help you grow in confidence that will help you prepare through self study and while i was trying to explain two students already paid the fees they were in such a hurry to grab a seat that they paid the fees now the payment link is shared in the chat box those who think that this is a great opportunity okay let me give you the last gift that will allow you not to miss this course those who will join it while i am still discussing they will get 5000 extra mcqs for their practice along with 15 years of pyqs with their explanations from my side free of cost so now you have live classes recorded classes pdf notes test series and 5000 extra mcqs and 15 years of pyqs topic wise like what question were asked in history in last 15 years in polity in geography along with their explanation that will give you so much of value in 1900 why i said this five students have now enrolled and they paid their fees straight away as if they were waiting for this opportunity said i should tell them obviously the first two students will get the same benefit 